technology that offered by Microsoft. So imagine you build an entire website using one language, JavaScript, as a front-end and back-end. It's really amazing. And also, the features that offered by Node.js, it could process more than one a client at some time, so it will keep the server busy. So imagine when there is two requests coming to the database, a normal application like PHP or ISP or any other stuff, if the two requests came to the, to the database, what happened, the server will take one, or, or sorry, two requests coming to the server, the server take one request and he go to the uh, database so and wait for the result then came back then he will take the next one so there is time consuming the, the server was still waiting for some form to execute the code that I want to do it so okay make sure you install Node.js so make sure when you open the terminal uh, if I open a new tab here a new tab so when I say node slash v you will have a version like for example this version that's great so now to get started, I want to do build a web service using Node.js in this video and MySQL. So at least you have to know MySQL as we told I told you from beginning. Not sh not should be MySQL any SQL language. If you know it, will be okay. So I will I will open WebStorm. Then I will create my simple empty project. Here I will create a new project. I will name it Node demo and just I will not open node I will make sure I open this type of a project so make sure I just open node.js express so also I make sure this one embedded JavaScript will be better if you want to use it then here you go execute it so I will, I will wait some time until we create the project I think everything will be good and very very amazing so yes, this is the project and I think everything is good. If I want to run the server, if I just go to the bin www, don't care about all this entire code. If I just run it, there you go. I just, so I just will see, he say, okay, the server is running on this port. So if I go to the browser and I try to open this port, I open localhost 3000, so this one. I have to see express node that's great so yes now it's great now it's running and everything is good so before I get started let me just make sure I am I will go to the web storm and just take this path to take the path of, of application I just click right and select copy path then I will go back here and I say CD to that path and say LS or dire and Windows if you Windows you will use dire if you Mac user, you also use LIS. This is the file that I have it. So first of all, to get started, I have to install something. So I say npm install MySQL because I'm using MySQL. So I'm using npm package manager to install MySQL because I'm using MySQL package manager. This is this is, is not the MySQL language or MySQL uh, database management no this is my sql for node so see i installed i added also make sure you install you write npm install you install another tool for url so name it url if it's not available so make sure you install it because you use it so we installed two tool npm install url npm install my sql so our project will start from here if you see so because we, we did not open anything if you see this is the URL, you don't have to care. He will when I click this one, just there, he will open this page. So if I click this one slash users, he have to open response with anything. So yes, if you see this is users, he going to the page name it users. If I click on on user here, I will see what user mean. User mean routes users. So if I go here to the route. I have something named it user. Let me, let me just talk about users here. So I have this one for user. So as as we told, as we said before, we need use something. So I want to variable for URL. I just imported already. So I will say require. You don't have to care other part of the code. I will just I just requiring the URL. I just already installed it, and I I'm sure we need also MySQL. So you need to do import for MySQL. So make sure you also say uh, importing for MySQL. You say here you done. Then you say where MySQL. You say require in this way MySQL. You just I'm importing two libraries that I add them 
in my project so yes i just have this two library to get started now if you see the response will be this one response with resource I, if i say welcome to node i have to see now in the server side i cannot see it now because i need to refresh the server here so i just re restart it again make sure see welcome to node because i just updated the message so this is the message that's going to the user i don't care about this message i want to replace it with a different messages so let's just me stop this line so this is the code that's executed when the application will start first of all i need to add some uh, addition to the header for security concern so i will say header resource this is the resource that's coming so i say resource.header add some header for the access control allow so make sure you add this one Ac says in this way ec e double s then you say control then you say allow then origin this is just you add this line this is because in some in some way uh, my SQL or node will not work unless you add this line just for security concern this is just for security security token i don't know why but you have to add it otherwise you could not see the data so when you add this one now we need to do something we need to get the query because if you remember first we need to insert i need to do example to insert the database so what database i have it i have this database that we did it before with uh, php i have very simple database name it demo have single table name it login login have id username password and this is the data i have it in it so i need to add data to this database so okay to get started first i need to get the data that's coming with the url i will say ver query data i'm getting the query data so a call how i could get query data i have this url i will say okay query data will be url dot first because i'm getting from the url i will get the request i will tell you what that's mean then i'll say request dot url and i will say true then dot query so what does that mean okay if you remember in previous video we was sending data over username and password you add send them here we say okay users we will see username or call i for example ali and password one two three four five so uh, how i could get this how could i access to this to that two key first of all we just imported my url and unnode then i get verse to that url to the query data that's mean okay this should be not quality it should be query okay not quality so i say okay query to that url i added now this query data will have a username if i send them and password as a key and value so i could read them i will read them later i already imported my sql so then i need to do configuration so i say ver config i have configuration to my server so what the configuration that i have it if you remember we have a host host name so the host will be in node in my sql will be one zero zero one if you have remote host go ahead and replace this one with your remote host ib then i have another information for the user the user should be root that's great and i have password the password will be one two three four five this for my computer for sure my your computer will be different if you install in a different way the database database that i want to connect to if you remember the database that we have it already named demo if i'm not mistaken yes we create database we name the database first demo and we work with it in php to connect the database it's really easy same way that you did it in php you will say where we're all connected with that mysql is it you connect you say not connect you say create connection so i'm doing creating connection with that url then i create the connection i create connection now i'm connecting to the server so i want to execute a query on this connection i say okay the, uh, any information let me say this is my query variable query okay do you remember how we how into logan it was logan this way i have two things username and we have password 
and here we done so for information will be available when someone uh, try to add data that's great now connection string now I could send this query to this connection so now this connection have the query that that you want to connect to so then I will give it the other parameters so what the other by you they have they have to be added already by the language so yes you just okay say okay I will I try to execute the query and if it's secured or not call this function so uh, I, this is the fact you say resource data is added return data is added. there is error I will display this message but if there is no error I will say data is added make sure everything is good I'm just adding this one here yes now I just rerun it to make sure everything is clear and I would see my terminal so if you remember we said we will add the username here we say we add pass user as a page name then add a semicolon then add username equal for example Ahmed then we add the password for example this number so make sure you add username a call the value then and password the call the value hit it data is added if I go back to the server it have to be added in the end uh, the data Ahmed is undefined the password undefined do you know why the password is undefined I will tell you why if you see the password here it's written in this way but if you go here and back it's written in this way so what does that mean no because we have this key also so if i say password user also it's better so because i don't want to confuse between two of them so i will have a problem so i will rerun it again so i make sure this username and this password and now when i send i will send as a password user so username now that is added if i go back here we go now Ahmed is added again with the password so one thing you have to remember from this tutorial when you send the data you send it in this way username a call value for example and parcel equal value and for example age equal value and anything this is for the get you send them in the server to receive them or to read them you just define a URL then you write this line to get all the data then you could access to any one of the data by just dot the uh, the get name for it so dot password dot username to connect the database you just create configuration then we make great connection then we connect it then we execute a query and we waiting for result sometime for example we we get a number of rows for if you want if you see if we suppose we want i want to get all the rows that we have it so i will say select the star from the login for example if i just want to get all the data i will say select star from login i have to get all the data that i have it in the login table but there is some problem now in the login table with the name and other stuff but let me see now we don't need username or password but you have to add them because our data is working on that so yes data is added no what no not this one i want to display it here because here i have the error here i have the error but here i have around because this i just mistake every time this one error error that is not added just connect again rerun making sure everything is good here's the data amazing see how many rows i have it how we could get it so see how we could insert and we could get just now whenever you want to use this script you will not have to do a lot of of change man all thing you need to do it just changing this considering or this query and if you have the data as a row you will get it back as a row if the error you will get an error and you will see how we add and how we did everything here we done and thank you for watching